All right, this is the first shop that you will see when you walk in. Usually this place is a little bit more expensive than the rest of the places here. Hmm, no price on here. This is the, my favorite different bakya. Look at the leaves. This rubber tree, $69.99. This fiddle leaf fig is $79.99. Bam! These are the sad plants, three for 20. I think that's a little expensive, but, but okay. This protein is $14.99. Snake plants, Christina, $44.99. Oh, here, this different bakya has a price on it. This is $34.99. That is pretty expensive. Usually these are like around $30. Just the pathos. This is Tropical USA. Got some little cacti. Succulents. Oh, these ones are glued on. Oh my gosh. The little baby ZZs. They're four dollars each for this four inch. Oh, I mean that's a no. They're six dollars each. Never mind. <laughs> Some more. And these are five dollars. Little baby dipping makya. The flowers here are so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, some marantas. Little rubber plants. This is a baby lipstick plant. I would love a baby lipstick plant. Let me see how much it is though. <gasps> this one's a little bit variegated. Oh. Oh. Okay, he's trapped. <laughs> Look at the leaves. This one has it too. And they're in a perfect little four inch pot. I wonder how much they are. This is so pretty. Oh my gosh. I want this one. We're gonna have to look around and come back. Peperomia. Papos Enjoy. More rubber plant. Some beautiful little syngoniums. I love the pink syngoniums. Those are their house plants. Okay, so here they sell a lot of like, well, flowers in the flower market. But look at these. Did they spray paint these monstera leaves? I think they did paint it. Why did they do this? I guess if you're looking for that gothic aesthetic, this is the kind of monstera leaf you would like to put in a little vase for a while until it dies. Okay, we're moving yeah. along. We're moving yeah. along. They have a lot of pots here. They're not really a ton cheaper, but if you want to look at them, you can. 
Okay, and just to mention that, like for for all the leaves, the monster leaves and stuff, they don't have any nodes on them. They're literally just a little leaf to keep as decoration. So yeah, just just keep that in mind if you see any cool leaves around. They're not gonna grow. You could just keep them. Look at them. They're nice. Keep them instead of flowers. But oh, look at these. Oh my gosh. Okay, we're we're getting into it. Look at these allocation leaves. Like if these had nodes on them. Oh my gosh, they're so beautiful. Okay, we're gonna go cry. Go cry that that doesn't have a node on it now. Just take it off the little plants. Okay, this area here, you don't you don't need to pay to get in here. So this is this is free area to go. But this is where they have donuts. They have donuts here. Here they are. And here they're $30. They don't really have a good selection anymore, but they used to have a ton. Look how cute! A little Talanzia Zero Graphica. Uh, when you look at these, you need to be sure to actually look at them look at their base make sure they don't have any rotting leaves because they they do tend to have uh they do tend to be unhealthy so just want to check those out before you purchase there's all plants lining the shelves here Like I said, their prices aren't the best. So my thing is that the dollar you pay to get in is the area where they have better plants. Oh, look at this aglianema, it's blooming. I don't think I've ever seen one bloom before. That's so pretty. Just little pathos. These flowers are so pretty. I've been seeing them everywhere. Look at their leaves. Oh, here we go. This is a classic leaf. They're so pretty. I can't take care of flowers though. <laughs> Yeah. I think it's still a little bit early, so. 425 for these four inch assorted green plants. Okay. So then we cross the street. This is not a paid part again, but we gotta take a look. Oh my gosh, look at these little burritos. I have one, but it's kind of stretched. I need to give it more light, I think. They're so cute. Here are some beautiful Philodendrons. These are so pretty. Every time I come to here, they're so gorgeous. And there's a bunch of like pathos and stuff hanging around here. These four inch plants here are only $2.95. And I'm gonna say that this is the cheapest that you will find them. These at Home Depot are like five dollars. Okay, 
Okay, we're moving on. Little 725 string of plants. We're going back to the paid entry area. Look at all the pretty flowers. We are here. We are seeing $35 big on Steras. $45. Oh, this one's more expensive though. It's so big. And here, these are Kalankoe's. Okay, okay. We like looking in the bags, see what they got. These are $2.75, but if you buy more than $16, they're $2.50 each. They are, let me fix the light, Dracaenas. These are discounted plants, so these are $1 each. Little baby shuffleras. These are all $2.75 each. Every single plant here. Syngoniums. <gasps> Ooh. A little Chinese evergreen. Okay, so Urban Air is the brand that is in grocery stores. Oh my gosh, in grocery stores they're not $2.75. Oh, okay. Little spider plants. I don't know what these singonians are called, but they look like a a burnt a burnt red to me. Like these are the pink ones, these are the little burnt ones. These are the green ones. <laughs> I don't know their actual names, but it's so cool to see them all just here. So, oh, this is a strawberry, strawberry one. Mm -hmm. All sitting here for two seventy-five each. That is so cute. There are so many pothos here. They usually have enjoy pothos. Um, it's very clear. Usually this is full. It has enjoy pothos. It has marble queens, jade. These are pretty big to be only two seventy five, huh? Now oh, here are the jade ones. All right. Moving on over here. This big 8-inch CZ plant is only $25. It's so big. Oh my gosh. Okay. These 8-inch plants are $18.50. Little ferns and stuff. Here, thirty dollars. This is an alocasia for eight fifty. Okay, these lipstick plants are eight fifty, and they're looking beautiful and glossy. Terracotta pots, size and price. Take your pick. We got plenty of air plants here too. Bromeliads. 
Oh, they have some Zero Graphics for $25. Why are they kind of pink? That is so cute. I see a bug. What is it? Okay, well that makes me nervous. But look, it's so cute. Oh my gosh, if I get a donut again, I'm gonna get one of these little pink ones. I don't know if that was like, I, it doesn't look like it was sprayed on. It looks like that's its color. <gasps> that is so adorable. Oh my gosh, $25. Usually Zero Graphicas are like 30. Bunch of string plants here. Okay. Over here. Oh, look at these bright green neon pothos. These are eight fifty. Eight fifty for this size. Over here, there's some hanging ones. Skindapsis picked this. That is a really good price for these. Enjoy. Brazil. Marble. Ooh, what's in these? Oh, there's some more ZZ plants. Where are there? 850 Calatheas. Maranta. Okay, but I came here for these Alocasia. 850 Alocasia. I think I'll get this one. Hopefully it doesn't get any spider mites. Mm, or maybe this one. Oh, they're so cute. Okay, we're gonna continue touring and then we're gonna come back for purchases because I don't want to be carrying this around. All right. I saw these little baby. Pretty sure these are all just Thanksgiving cactuses. I was hoping to find a spring one, but they don't have any. They're all blooming right now. Okay. Over here is where you will find the big, the big mama plants. Italy figs, giant monsteras. Oh my gosh. It gets me every time. Seasies. I'm just gonna use this as a little walkway to get through to the smaller plants. Here we are. Let's see what they have here. I don't think I've seen a rubber tree this color. It's a really light green. Maybe it's an unhealthy light green and this is supposed to be a darker red. I don't know. They really have every size. These are so big. Rubber trees. Up there, pathos and <laughs> Oh 
Okay, and then here are the four inch plants. I have to check how much they are here, but they're probably the same amount. This is where they have all kinds of philodendron, pothos. Sigoniums, they pretty much all have like the same things. Um, very close to the same price. These are just little starter plants if you don't have a lot of room in your house like me. That's how you fit more plants into one spot. You just have a bunch of small ones. Okay, here we got four inch plants that are only three dollars. Oh my gosh, I got the scandapsuses. Philodendrons, pothos. All the different kinds, syngoniums. This is really good. These are 350. <laughs> Probably because they're so hard to keep alive. And we're going inside the store now. A bunch hanging here. much if you just want your your basic um, kind of starting out plants this you should come to the flower market they have great price points all of these are 850 these long vining plants these are the plants that we can't touch but we can look at we can look at the watermelon pep and look at the really long Poya carii string of dolphins but we can't get it I'm pretty sure if you call in you can order it and they'll hold it for you and it'll go in that area and then you can just pick it up next week oh here's some string of dolphins too I'm going really fast. I'm trying to walk slow. It's really hard. <laughs> All right, here are $18 really long string of hearts. And really thick Hoya compactas. And these plants here are $10. The, fiddle, the fiddly fig, the monstera. I don't remember what that's called right now. And we got some marantas, variegated, non-variegated, rubber trees, alocasia polys. These are $10, that's pretty good. We're gonna move on to the next one now. Okay, well here they have a whole bunch of watermelon peperomias. These are becoming pretty common. These here are only $7. That's really good. They're so cute. I remember when it was really hard to find these and now they're just popping up everywhere. It's crazy. See? This is just a bunch of succulents and stuff. But I'm still so shocked that all of these <laughs> watermelon pepperomias that's so cute. Oh my gosh, they got some lip offs. I don't think so. Eight fifty string of pearls. 
fish hooks. You can tell I really like these. Oh my gosh, they're so cute. Okay guys, so I just got done shopping. I bought two plants. So the first one I got is this beautiful, let me pull it out. Beautiful Alocasia Lowrider. I've been wanting this plant for a really long time now. Look at these little leaves. It looks like little lettuce. I am so excited to finally have this plant. It's a compact alocasia, which is really good because <laughs> I don't have space. And I also got this little lipstick plant. It is so adorable. It has these little um, variegated leaves and it's just so cute. It just has that little splash of pizzazz on it. That makes it so adorable and I'm just so happy with it. I've been wanting a, a little lipstick plant, but you don't really find them that often in a four inch pot. I'm super excited about it. It's really nice. Uh, that's pretty much all the plants that I got. This one, by the way, was $4, but I only paid like three something because I didn't have enough change. And for that shop that I went to, you could only uh, do over $10 in uh, for a card. So I'm just gonna give you a little bit of tidbits that's my haul, but I'm just going to give you a little bit of tidbits for if you want to go shopping at the LA Flower Market, I have some tips for you. For parking, what I would recommend is there is this uh, kind of like a Michaels situation type of store. It's called Moscatels. I will have a link of the location of it. And if you park in their parking lot, you get free parking for two hours if you spend $10 inside their store. Which reminds me, so to meet that $10 limit, I just bought some some pots here because I've been needing pots. Ooh, I need to do some more potting. So it's kind of, I view it as a plus because you're spending, if you're gonna spend $10 on parking anyways because that's pretty much how much parking costs. If you're gonna spend $10 on parking anyway, might as well get some pots or something with it, so. That's why I parked there. I put the hours it opens and everything. It is a dollar for each person entry fee. They'll give you a ticket. They'll give you a little stamp on your hand in case you lose your ticket. I mean, sticker. Uh, so make sure you have cash. Bring cash because some stores do not accept card. Like the one that I bought my little variegated lipstick plant. There are kind of a lot of different stores there and they all have uh, pretty low prices compared to other places that you would shop at, like a nursery or anything like that. But I encourage you to still look at the price of each individual store because um, I know it's only like a 25 cent difference, but it's still saving money. Some stores don't charge tax too, so also take that into account. Um, but other than that, I think that is everything. If you see something cool, I would recommend to pick it up right away. Because <laughs> I wanted to get an alocasia leaf, one of those variegated alocasia leaves, but that didn't end up happening. So, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much it. If you guys go, let me know. Let me know how you enjoy it. And thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I will see you next time. Bye!